The navigation rules apply to both coastal and inland U.S. waterways, and all boat operators should have a working knowledge of them. The guiding principle that informs these regulations is collision avoidance with other vessels. Combining nav rules adherence with good judgment and practical skills will increase safety on the water for all. In addition to knowing which boat should avoid another in various circumstances, important skills are keeping a sharp lookout and traveling at a safe speed. The rules make it the responsibility of boat operators to maintain a proper lookout by sight, sound, and other available means, such as electronic aids to navigation and marine radios. Constant vigilance is essential for collision risk management. Develop the habit of performing frequent 360-degree scans to be aware of boats approaching from any angle, including from behind. Don't become distracted by your GPS or other onboard instruments. If the relative bearing of an approaching vessel doesn't change, you are at risk of collision. Learn to travel at a safe speed relative to current circumstances, which means a speed that will allow you to assess collision risks and take timely action to avoid them. Safe speed is not just a speed limit based on statutory regulations. Where such limits are not imposed, conditions to consider include visibility, sea state, traffic density, vessel maneuverability, and at night, the presence of background lighting. Power boats, including personal watercraft, should not impede boats under sail, kayaks, canoes, and other human-propelled watercraft. In narrow channels and rivers, generally keep to the right. When meeting head-on, two power-driven vessels should both alter course to starboard, if possible. When overtaking another boat, you may proceed on either side if it's safe to do so, and you keep a safe distance. When being overtaken, maintain your course and speed. When crossing, the vessel with another on its starboard side should not impede that vessel. In other words, avoid boats on your right. Imagine a circle drawn around your boat and divided into segments from straight ahead to both right and left 112.5 degrees, just past a right angle. If you're approaching another boat within these segment arcs, you are crossing and should avoid the vessel approaching from your starboard side. Be aware that most recreational boat collisions involve other recreational boats. At night, port and starboard lights show these zones with the white masthead light indicating that the boat is power driven. Behind the crossing zones is the overtaking zone, the last 135 degrees, and at night, you'll see only the white stern light. Sailboats have special regulations, including that if the wind is on different sides, the vessel with the wind on its port side keeps out of the way of the other. If you cannot be certain that an upwind boat has the wind on its port side, you should avoid it. If sailboats both have the wind on the same side, the windward boat keeps out of the way of the leeward boat. Recreational boats should not loiter in channels and fairways so as not to impede commercial vessels with restricted maneuverability. You may be difficult to see from the bridge of a ship, so stay clear and take early and obvious action if needed. The larger the vessel, the more difficult it is to change course or speed in an emergency. Whenever you're required to avoid another boat, begin altering your course early and make a large enough maneuver for the other boat to know you're taking evasive action. Slow down or alter course to pass behind the other boat. Don't speed up to pass in front. It is unsafe and could be considered negligent. If another vessel has to avoid you, maintain your course and speed. Only deviate if it's apparent the other vessel is not taking action to avoid a collision. Don't alter course to port as the other boat may alter to starboard at the last moment and you may collide. Slowing down or stopping is a good strategy. Before your next trip, review the NAV rules and put them into practice by maintaining a proper lookout and traveling at a safe speed. Collision avoidance is priority one on the water.